Hi, my name is Catherine. Welcome back. Today in my podcast, we're going to be talking about Roma, Texas, my hometown, which is an hour and a half from Edinburgh. Um, we're going to be talking about the life and culture and activities that happen here in this town. And with me today is my longtime friend, Humberto Treviño, which he knows more about Roma, a little bit more about Roma than I do. Here he is. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Humberto and I'm Catherine's longtime friend and longtime resident here in Roma, Texas. And yeah, welcome. I'm going to be talking about this historic 300 year old town. We're going to talk about culture. Uh, how do you think this town represents their culture? Well, right now, there's a Hamaica going on. There was a parade earlier today. I would say that's one way where the community comes together as a whole and we celebrate. Um, we have mariachi music, we have banda, we have all that traditional good feeling Mexican music going on. And we all come together to have fun and be together. And that's one thing about this town is that it's very family oriented, very unified. It's very traditional. In that aspect, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, I come here to kind of escape the city life that I think kind of exists in Edinburgh. And I come home and I'm surrounded by my family and my relatives and my friends. And I think that's kind of the case for everybody because that's what this kind of this town like has to offer. for like more than a hundred years mainly Catholic town there's a photo shoot going on um, but yeah I guess what else is there to know about the culture here traditional Mexican family which one would you say I mean would be the main religion that that is practiced here oh definitely definitely catholic this town is majority catholic i myself am a catholic so what would you say there is to do around here in roma not much definitely not much um really doesn't have that much to offer i would say it's abundant in taquerias and mexican restaurants we have a plaza with a fountain. These Jamaicas, like I said, there really isn't much to do. Um, people uh, here kind of grow accustomed to driving to McAllen, which is another reason why so many of us from here move over there. Back then, we used to always go across the border, since the border. I would say that there's a lot of fast food restaurants over here, Kiss. I mean, we just got a Domino's, so it's kind of a not valid statement, but the border is within reach. But in lieu of certain events, that really isn't an option anymore. So we make do with what we have here. Um, we go to Rio Grande City. It's about a 20 minute drive. There's a movie theater there. There's a Walmart. That's the closest thing we have to a mall here. Um, but other than that, Roma really doesn't have much to offer entertainment-wise, you know? Mexico was a really good place to go to entertain yourself. Like, we would always go there every weekend when we would get out of school or something. We used to go every weekend to Mier. I love Ciudad Roma. Magico. That's where my mom is from. But, yeah, the drug war started and we can't really go over there anymore. So, like I said, we make do what we have here. Um, Which is not bad at the same time, you know, because like, it, 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 you come back here and it brings you back memories to how you grew up. You come back here and there's a routine. It's crazy. You come back here and there's a routine. You get here, you're here for the first day with your family, you're here the weekend with your friends, you're going out, you're eating, you're going to the movies. 
and that's it. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice that there isn't much to offer because it's not crazy or overwhelming like how city life in how I would describe city life in McAllen or Edinburgh to be. For for me, it would be that it's hard uh, warming coming back home because you know I have all That's the border over there. The memories. Yes, I remember going back. Ah. Oh. I used to love going over there. Like, it was our favorite place. Like, let's show you more. A closer look. Hopefully we don't get arrested for this or something. Security is very heavy, heavily regulated around this area. We're not even really supposed to be on here right now. But as you can see, that's, that's me and El Man. That's where I was born. Mexico. Mexico. Now we're going to talk about the life in Roma, the historic side of it. So as you can see behind me, this used to be the former U.S. Customs Building, which has been totally made over. And right now we are in historic downtown Roma. We have the former U.S. Customs Building. You have City Hall. You have the Our Lady of Refuge Church, the oldest church in Roma. And like I said before, we have a hamaca going on right now. Um, and it's all because of the church. They do it to raise money for like funds and for projects and for trips that they have. But yeah, this place, this downtown, is ideal for imagery. I would say people love coming here and taking photo shoots. If you can see behind me, um, don't want to be of, too obvious. <laughs> a lot of events are held here. Fourth of July, the fireworks go off here in this very plaza. Hamacas are held regularly, and I guess I'll be giving you just some basic detail about the history of this place. Okay, we're gonna give you a rundown of the history on Roma. Umberto, do you wanna input something? So while I did say that Roma was founded in the 1760s, it wasn't known as Roma. It wasn't known as Roma until it was taken into the United States, until it became part of their territory in 1848. That's when they changed the name to Roma. And this town used to be a hot spot for trade and commerce. Having the Rio Grande right here next to us, many steamboats and boats of all kinds carrying produce and uh, goods kind of made stops here and they never really left. Many families decided to settle here and it kind of went on from there. The, pop the population kept growing and growing and growing and now we have a beautiful full rich city full of many different types of people and historic sightings and historic sites yep uh right now we're walking towards jamaica um and I would say, it's just a preview of what actually happens yeah just a little just give you a little taste of what our town has to offer if you want to come and if you want to come just look it up on google maps and follow the gps down here because nobody knows where it is <laughs> Literally, like they confuse our town with Rome, Italy. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna end this cute little history lesson here. And behind me is our beautiful Jamaica. Thank you, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Board of Food and Hardware. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.